Um, we'll open it up to working media again. And we'll start with Jake Shapiro. Hey, McKinley, you know, you guys have been working on consistency a lot. It, is tonight what we've seen the next step for this team, or is there still another step for this team that you see that you guys need to take? Uh, tonight was a really good job. Um, uh, we, I think we played at a high level. Um, there was still a couple couple areas where we, where we lacked, and you know we gave them a couple free points. Um, we gave them a, a three help and another strong side corner. So um, it's still room for it's always room for improvement, man. And um, I'm just I'm just happy with our guys the way we fought tonight, the way we defended, um, and you know that, that's really it. I think we played at a high level tonight. Uh, we'll go next to Pat Graham. Hey McKinley, thanks for taking the time. Uh, Two-parter for you. Number one is uh, you guys had assists on 20 of 27 baskets. That's got to feel pretty good. And you were uh, that's the second most assist in Colorado history. Do you know who has the record? I don't. I'm assuming Jay Humphreys. <laughs> um, Winston. Oh, for real? Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't know that. I didn't even know I had 14 assists. That's, that's crazy. I mean, shout out to my teammates for uh, knocking down shots and my coaching staff putting me in a position, uh, drawing up plays to – to find guys and have them make uh, open shots. You know, we've been practicing, we've been working on this. So um, all the credit goes to my teammates, you know, um, and my coaches. Uh, Pat Rooney. Hey, McKinley, what did that little uh, pregame ceremony mean for you with Rick George and, and the basketball they gave you? And uh, hey, maybe to, to clarify one thing, you were on the call the other day. I, I know parents have been here for the last few games, but was this the first one your family could get to? Yeah, um, uh, starting with Rick, I mean that that meant the world to me. I didn't, I didn't know that was coming tonight. Um, you know, Rick. You know, since I stepped on campus, he's been uh, a really good mentor for me, and and somebody you know I kind of looked up to. Rick, Rick is he's done an unbelievable job in the athletic department. You know, and you know, shout out to Rick for doing that tonight. You know, he he cracks jokes with me all the time before the games, after the games. So, uh, Rick and I have a really good relationship, and and I appreciate. You know him for doing that for me tonight, uh, presenting the game ball, and then you know my parents. Yeah, that, tonight uh, my parents, uh, my grandmother, my grandfather, um, my brother, and my cousin. They were all able to make it tonight, um, so that meant a lot for me, man. It was the first game all year. We're twenty, twenty some, almost thirty games into the season, and you know just the first time they got to see me play in person all year. So uh, that meant the world. Uh, we'll go next to Mark Kislett. Two things. Uh, at the end of the game, you and Evan looked like you were giving high fives to the cardboard cutouts, um, running around the court a little bit there. How fun was that? And, and second, are you close enough? You've been chasing this big dance for several years now. Are you close enough to taste it or, or not? Um, you know, first off, with, with the Evan, me and Evan doing the cardboard thing, that's something we do after every win. Uh, we, you know, we miss our student section. We miss our fans down there at that area being loud and rowdy for us. So it's just a little celebration, imaginary celebration. Uh, Cause you know, when they were there last year, we give them high fives after every game. So uh, we just pretending that they there. And um, <clears throat> what was the second question? I'm sorry. Are you close? You've been, oh, this okay. team's been chasing the dance for a while. Are you close enough to taste it or no? Um, we're close. I think, I think so. But you know, right now, I don't, uh, that's not our, our main focus. Um, of course, everybody here wants to play in a dance, you know, something that this group hasn't been a part of. But, you know, Saturday we got a really, really important game uh, with the uh, with the tournament team. You know, a team that, that's 1-0 versus us this year, they beat us at their home. So it's a really, really big game for us and, and one we must have. Uh, we'll go back to Jake Shapiro. McKinley, we've seen it a thousand <coughs> times in your four years here. Just something, whether it's a technical call on you or someone pushes you, goes against your way you kind of just double down on your energy and channel it back positively is, is that what happened tonight and I, I know you were already riding like a momentum swing there but it seemed like you guys really took off from that yeah um I apologize to coach for that um, my teammates I apologize to them as well I'll let my emotions get the best of me um you know their, their bench was they kept yelling at our players every time we shot that it was off and um you know I, I said some words I shouldn't have said but um yeah it was a, it was a big momentum change for me um that's my first technical since I've been at Colorado. So um, that's not, you know, who I am. But it just happened tonight. I let my emotions get the best of me. So, you know, that's not something that, that's going to happen again. Um, we'll go to Justin Guerrero. 
McKinley, uh, both times you guys have faced USC this year, um, you, you've managed mm -hmm. to keep Evan Mobley pretty significantly below the numbers he usually puts up in terms of points and, and rebounds. And I know you personally aren't the guy usually uh, D'ing him up, but just overall, just how well do you guys feel like you executed the game plan, just knowing that stopping him was such a big mm -hmm. part of, of stopping them in general? Uh, it's a collective effort, man. Evan Mobley is going to be a top five NBA draft pick this year. We know how, how skilled he is. Um, so we just tried to make it hard as possible. And you know, shout out to Dallas and Evan uh, for working their tails off, getting around front. Um, us guards was, was digging on them and just trying to make it as hard as possible on them. You know, he made some tough shots tonight, but you know, he's a pro. He's a top five pick. That's what he's going to do. Um, we just tried to make it as hard as possible on he and Tajidi. And I think we uh, executed the game plan tonight. You know, our coaching staff did a really good job of putting the scouting report together. And, you know, guys were locked in. I think the last couple of days of our preparation was at a really high level. Uh, we knew how well they've been playing. You know, we know how good Evan is. So um, it was a collective effort. But, you know, shout out to our bigs for, for holding, them, holding them down. Okay, real quick, because um, I know Coach is waiting. Uh, if any of the classes have a question, uh, we'll open it up to them. Uh, Tony Finnegan. Hey, McKinley, uh, congrats on the big win tonight. Uh, I know you guys were on track to be playing postseason ball last year, and that didn't end up happening. Is that kind of opportunity being taken away from you? Is that something that motivates you going down the, going down the home stretch here? Uh, yeah, it is. Um, you know, last year, we, I think we would have been in a dance. Um, it's something that we looked up, uh, we look forward to, you know, since I've gotten here. Um, it's something that we look forward to this year. Um, you know, we, we really want to be there. And I think we can get there and make a run. But, you know, we still got unfinished business. We got two more home games before that, that situation comes. And um, if we take care of business these next two games, I think it's a lock. So, um, yeah, of course, I look forward to it. But, you know, we still got still got some work to do. All right, and we'll go last one to Eric Bean. Hey, McKinley. Um, 21 points against Oregon State, um, 14 assists, however, in this game. Is that, like, more of a conscious decision on your part, or do you just let the game come to you? Uh, I try to let it come to me. You know, I missed a lot of mid-range shots tonight, missed a couple floaters. Um, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a pass first point guard. You know, I love seeing my teammates succeed. You know, seeing them score, that, that makes me happy, so. I'm never going to get mad and try to force dumb shots or just shoot the ball. Uh, I try to let the game come to me and just just uh, take whatever the game gives me. Okay, we're good. Thanks, McKinley. Yep, thank you, guys.